Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Outlanders. We're up to episode 5. We're starting things off in the shopping district where there has been some contamination. That's right, we've got ourselves grass. And this thing cannot last. We just cannot have grass in this area and it just cannot be allowed. We need to oh, block it off with a workstation. Let's see. So what we want to do is just make sure that this thing is properly checked out. I've not done that correctly, but we want to put out some barrier blocks. So we've got some yellow and some uh, black wool to mark it off as an area of a no-go zone. So let's quickly get this thing in place before anyone else comes on, comes here and sees what's going on. So, bum, 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 nearly there. And that's not going to work, is it? So I have, of course, misplaced that, but we can continue on. Now, of course, no contamination site is is quite complete without some workers to look at it. So we're going to get ourselves some nice village ahead or wandering trade ahead workers in here. So just a little bit more work and we should have this nearly done. Now, they need to really investigate what's going on here to make sure that the nothing else untoward goes wrong. And I've done that in the wrong order, haven't I? So this shouldn't take too much longer and we can get started on making sure we, we don't ever have more grass in this area ever again. And there we have it. We've got our four workers all inside their inside their hazmat suits with their little blue helmet on top. It doesn't quite fit the rest of the aesthetic, but it does work anyway. So now we need to label this thing. We've got ourselves a grass. Let me actually let's go up a level. Grass containment. Containment, not containment. Field. And we've just spammed it all the way around. Uh, we should say, let's see. Uh, do not enter. And of course, anyone who is making YouTube videos with me can, of course, try and make some content with this. Hopefully, we get a little bit of something going on here because this could turn into quite a good story right here. Let's see what happens anyway. And there we go, all complete. Now, we must remember we must keep this mushroom island entirely mushroom because, after all, this is the only mushroom area in the entire mm. area. We need to preserve this life. life. I just, I know I say that as in killing off a a mushroom, but we need to preserve as much of the life as possible and keep the mycelium alive. So this grass is a big no-no. And one last bit I added, this is a bit of a foreman. He's got a, himself a nice hot chockey here, but he's still in his hazmat suit, overseeing the digging out of the grass and the replacement of it with mycelium. So that guy's got the mycelium, he's going to be replacing bits. This guy's got grass and he's taking it all away to be completely destroyed. And we've got ourselves two workers taking out the grass very, very carefully in their nice hazmat suits to be made sh and make keep them safe because of course this grass is a bit of a blight on this land while it does look pretty nice i don't think it's worth having grass instead of mycelium it definitely needs to keep with the mycelium so let us get move on with the rest of today's episode as we make our way back to our base to continue our next episode we need to call upon all our members of the server to stay on team keep make make mycelium great again or something like that just keep it keep the shopping district keep the shopping district mycelium which is going to be a really really long slogan and i can already see morgan in our discord saying what have we made it all podzol which is an interesting idea i don't know if what i think about that my podzol is going to be a lot harder to spread but it would certainly be a little bit different it might be we might be able to make a bit of a compromise between mycelium and mod podzol or something like that any hoodoo, let's get rid of all the stuff that we don't really need because uh, we have a boss fight or two to go ahead to, to do. Yes, that's right. We're going to be doing two different boss fights. We're going to be doing the Wither and then the Elder Guardian, not the Elder Guardian, the Ender Dragon. So what I need for that is I need some Ghast Tears and I cannot for the life of me find where I put them. I really did, I did sort this thing out a little bit recently and moved all the stone and all the dirt blocks into my little hobbit hole, but I do not have a clue where I put my ghast here, and this is turning into a real problem. One of these days, a creep is just going to blow it all up, and I'm going to put it all randomly again, and it's going to be really annoying. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm going to find it eventually. It shouldn't be in here. We'll need those, though. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need soul sand, which I'm sure is in here in this mess somewhere. There we go. We're going to need ourselves some blaze powder to make the to the end crystals. Uh, where did I put that? 
five of these would do. And we do need some gas tears, which now I think about it, are actually in this chest. No, not in this chest, in this chest. There we go, eight of them. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully we've got ourselves a very good start and we can get ourselves to the end and do two consecutive or three consecutive boss fights. Now that I'm in the end, there's one thing I've almost always wondered, whether the Wither and the Dragon can actually fight each other. Now, I'm not going to be stupid and let the Wither loose, but I look, but I will just trap it under the bedrock. Now, it does appear that someone's already used a technique of using one, two, three, four to get the skeletons and the, uh, to get the Wither, and then we put the skulls there, which I will not be doing quite yet. I'll leave, I'll actually get, oh, actually... I probably should have just left this here, because then I can just put the skulls in. But hopefully this tactic still works, otherwise I'm going to have a loose wither. However, I do need to get myself some ender pearls, which there is a killing chamber under here. Now I do have a pumpkin on, you can see. So let's just quickly get under here, and then we should be able to start looking at skeleton, looking at them. So come on, Mr. Come on, Mr. Enderman. Come to your death. Uh, let's anger a few more. I need to get... Uh, eight, I believe, of these things. So, a little bit of work to do. And a short time later, we've got ourselves the eight to ten, actually, ender eyes. We've got us had to go back and get some glass, and we should manage to get ourselves a really rare enderman head, which, of course, we can't put on because bedrock. But we should be able to now get ourselves, let's see, uh, eight end crystals. Now, how do we want to do this? We want to do... Uh, I think we want to do the end crystals first. So if we do this end crystal over here first, and then put in the three weather skeletons, that should work perfectly. So one, let's not get this wrong, two, uh, three, and then have we're ready to go into here. I actually should pillar up by one block. Do I have my ender? No, I do not. I do not have any end stuff. So let's get here and be prepared so we get rid of this stuff put the bow in our hand put a sword in the hand and be ready to fight so let's go up end crystal now that while that's spawning we put in one two three and the wither does spawn correctly excellent so while the wither is slowly dying we will start getting rid of the of these crystals up here and that was a stupid flight Okay, let's see. So the wither is slowly dying. These things are slowly coming into place. I probably spawned the wither just a little bit too soon. But here becomes the boss battles. I uh, want to be a little bit careful with this. But hopefully we don't die. Let's see, another one. This is prob I'm probably not doing this correctly, but who knows. Uh, the wither is already half dead. The dragon still hasn't spawned. I wonder if I'm making a mistake by actually killing these things first. Let's get ourselves some food. Come on, Mr. Dragon. Where are you? Dragon spawn now. I want to see how this is going. Okay. This appears to not be working because I think what happened is the wither killed off the end crystals. So there's no more end crystals for the thing to which is a little bit disappointing. We'll have to come back when the wither is actually killed and finish off with some more dragon fight, which is a little bit disappointing because I did have enough to make. Actually, I do have enough to make even more. So what I might do is pick up some more of these end, end pearls and summon two dragons when I have the time, which good shield, which will give me a couple of heads. So, come on. Are there any more around? No. Okay. Nearly there. Ne well, this nearly dead. We'll be able to summon a dragon very soon. That was a mistake. Come on. There we go. Well, did you drop anything? No. And there we have the Ender Star. Or what is it called? An Nether Star. Now, I've been doing a bit of thinking. What I think I'll do is try and go back into the nether and try and kill some more skeletons. So, we, this we're going to have to go back in here, back into the nether, and kill off some wither skeletons. Oh, that was a mistake. Kill off some wither skeletons. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long, and then we can truly see if the dragon will take on the... the, the, the what do you call it? The wither. It's a dragon versus wither fight. Nearly there. 
Well, that took a little bit of time and, and one death. It took me a little while to gather everything back, but I've got myself back. So what I need to do now is to put in the four end crystals this time. One. Yeah, come on, be slow. Mm. Two. I cannot do this wrong because I do not have any more gas to use left. Three. Uh, and then hopefully I should be able to go with this. One, two, three, four. But then I do the end crystal. So one like this. Hmm, I might actually need to gather a couple blocks. Let's do, use some glass because I don't need that. And four. Now while we need to wait until the dragon has fully spawned and go from there. Let's see. So the dragon is nearly there. It's going one two and a little bit more and then we should be able to get a dragon get a dragon in so close four okay the dragon's now spawning there we go now we can put our weather so two bosses at once this is going to be fun okay I've never actually done this before so we do need to be careful. What I probably should do is actually stomp on a gap. Okay, this is going to be a little bit quiet while I actually figure out how I'm going to do this. And do I have arrows? Yes, I do. Into my offhand. Now, ooh, I probably should have. I probably should have done the dragon after I got the crystals because the dragon isn't actually going to go down until. I until I do this. Come on. If we're quick about this. If we're quick about this, we should be able to still manage to get all of these done. And I'm re being really silly. Come on. Where is my bow? The wither's half dead. Oh, what a shot. Okay. There's just a couple more left. Now, it appears the dragon does enough to take damage from the wither. Ooh, and I'm so close to death. That was too close. Too close indeed, and I do not have... I do not have a totem, so this is going to be close. Let me just heal up a bit. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Uh, while the dragon gets stuff. Okay, so it appears that the wither is not actually going to kill the dragon while it's up there. But... Okay, that was, that was silly. Where else is this last one? Lots of silence in this clip while I actually figure out what I'm doing. Uh, one more to go. Okay, now I believe that's it. Oh, and the dragon is actually taking some damage. Maybe that was an arrow. I'm not sure. Come on, get down there. You can see the wither is so close to death. And, oh, this could be actually beneficial. Come on, Wither, explode. Okay, so that, the Wither didn't explode on the dragon, which is a little bit disappointing. But, hopefully, we can still get this dragon killed. Where is he? Or she, I should say. I'm not, or it, whatever, where is it? So close. Come on, this easy style. Well, here, I'll grab the other, the second Wither Star, and continue on the path. Come on, Missy, Miss Dragon, where'd you go? 
Where did it go? Where did it go? It's probably the worst pick killer because the stuff might actually fall into the end, which is into the end portal, which is definitely not what I want. Firing an arrow. Firing an arrow. That hit. So close. Is it going to come back to rest? Yes, it is. I do realize I'm doing this a silly way, but. Uh, I am so close. Well, sadly, I did take a death in there, but I am so close once again to killing the dragon. Here it is, and there's a death. There's these. There's the dragon head. And where did the electric go? It's definitely not in here, which is which is good to see. So, ah, there it is. How am I supposed to get that? Uh, one, two, three. There we go. So we've gotten second, ourselves a second elytra. Now to get ourselves out of here and into the back into the overworld. So that's two different boss fights all at the same time, which didn't go too well because it did die. But hopefully we can get ourselves back into the into a more boss fight soon. Well, I did record that clip a, li a clip earlier, but it seems to not have landed in the right place. So I'm going to redo it here. I have finally managed to kill the dragon. It did cost me in life, and I had to quickly run back and get everything. And I'll quickly take off this pumpkin head. But we, as you can see, we've got ourselves two nether stars from our two wither fights. We've got ourselves the elytra, the dragon head from the from the dragon. So there we go. And if we put that on, I mean, if we put that on. We look very silly, but we've got ourselves a very giant head, and it moves. And so that's a very, very good job done. So two were the fights, or two boss fights, and we can now say we can now say we've gone both the dragon and the wither into death. Now we now I'm going to go meet up with George and hand over some saplings. Hello, George. Hello. I see you found my grass containment zone. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing with the grass? The grass must be contained. It is a, it is a threat to the world of mycelium. But what does the mycelium really do? It, it looks good. This is the only mushroom area in the, in the entire world that I know of, which isn't very, which is to be fair, very limited. But still, it's very, my, very precious mycelium, and we can't let the grass grow. I remember at a time when you were getting rid of mycelium. Yeah, no, what, what happened to that? We did not talk about those times. Because I think that that should be the way. Yes. Oh, did, oh so did you notice that I, I've now got myself a dragon head? Yeah, I was wondering and I've got why you stars. severed the head of a dragon. Two nether well, stars. Well, I, I don't even have a set of armor. Yes, I noticed that. You poor, poor man. But yes, I killed the dragon and the wither at the same time, and I killed got killed I, myself. Quite a feat. Yes, yes indeed. So anyway, I hear you wanted some jungle saplings. Yes, I do. And I would like some acacia mm. saplings. I, I I only have one. Sa sapling. Well, I can give you two. Yeah. Oh, I uh, I might as well give you three. I don't. Oh, okay. Actually, I want. This two. seems quite equivalent. Can I? Yeah, thank you. That that's fine by me. I mean, look at me. I've got all the armor that I need. Yeah. So I what? Can't make so jungle armor, let me just come up to you in a very non-threatening manner. Where do you stand on grass versus mycelium? In fact, the, let me make this more the threatening. Where the do grass you stand? Must stay. Grass must stay. It seems that you and I might have a disagreement in the future. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Till then, I bid you adieu. Bye. Bye. But with those two boss fights now done and dusted, we have finished all we're going to do for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come and see me in the next video. I'll see you then. Goodbye.